Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. And today we're doing the next episode of the One Hit Restart Challenge. We are now on Black Ops 2, which is so funny to say. And the best part is we're making our way up to that Black Ops 6 One Hit Restart Challenge area. So we've done One Hit Restart Challenge on every single Zombies map thus far, starting from Nocturne Toten at World of War. And now we're all the way here at Transit. So if you guys enjoy stuff like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and the like button as well. Make sure you use code Zaculta for 10% off at w.com without further ado let's go ahead and let's get started with transit today oh boy oh boy i'm so excited all right should investigate the inner workings of oh my god All right, that's a little better. Welcome to Transit again, the one hit restart challenge. Um, uh, <sighs> so I don't know how long this this challenge in per se is going to last because Transit is definitely not an easy map to get through, and most specifically, I'm probably going to get hit like at least you know one like definitely before that this stuff is in fact over. So, it is so crazy to think about that this map is now 12 years old, and again, a map that was definitely, in fact, ahead of its time. Like, uh, they definitely had a lot of aspirations for this map to be better than it actually is, and uh, yeah, it was not that great so <laughs> and that's the unfortunate part because this map definitely did have hey ted how you doing buddy how you doing buddy i'm gonna need you to go there we go all right we're gonna try and get to the next area here at a pretty decent time oh my god i i have not played like the map itself is bad of course but there's still that that feeling of uh oh wow three points wow there is still that feeling of nostalgia for transit itself and it's so crazy to say or even think about honestly about just just transit in general dude it, it is so fucking insane. So we got three attempts. I need to at least make it to round 10. The same as literally every other map that I've done thus far in this challenge. And I think I've only completed a couple of maps. I got to go back and see which maps I completed and write them down so I can remember. Because I feel like I saved the wrong maps. Because I'll get i get the, the starting room challenge and the fucking one hit restart challenge mixed up. And I'll just say the wrong map that I completed. And it was absolutely incorrect. <laughs> and I do that so many times. Oh. oh god don't hit me so i'm only counting zombies so that's it like uh if i do get to the power station before getting hit and avogadro respawns in i'm not going to count avogadro avocado however you want to say that i'm not going to count those okay and the reason being is because i feel like you know, those aren't considerably zombies, really. And the same for the denizens. I'm not particularly counting them. So if I have to run through the, the fucking fog for any reason, I'm not going to count them because I can't avoid them. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing that I can do to avoid the, those fuckers from beating me up. So, yeah, so they're not counting. Um, oh, God, you know what the, the effed up part is here? No! close he almost hit me there the most effed up part is that the shield is also in this map this is the first map to introduce the shield and you can barely use it man like you you can't you can't use it because you need to have the turbine to turn the power on in certain areas of the map and i think that's so fucked up they like they knew what they were doing i don't care who you say at least they fixed it later on in origins but man this early going dude definitely not uh not a good thing here oh, wow i'm over here getting fucking pistols like that is insane so i'm i'm over here thinking um i was over here thinking the other day 
I was playing... You know, when I played Black Ops Cold War, as awesome as that campaign was, they pretty much implemented Modern Warfare's uh, campaign universe. It mixed with Call of Duty's universe. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself that it doesn't make any sense. They should have left them separate. It doesn't make any sense because here we are in 2025 in Black Ops 2. And this game is considered canon with black ops like the rest of the game series like it is considered a canon game well doesn't modern warfare what two or three take place in like 2023 like and the technology is nowhere near where it's supposed to be like i'm i don't know if anybody else has thought of that before but i i was randomly thinking it. it's like wait a minute like why why is there i haven't looked up anything i need to see if there's any kind of like running talks or something about it because i've i have not seen anything like that online anywhere but i mean it probably is is a definite somebody has probably noticed it too and it doesn't make any sense why they've added both universes together they could have just they should have just left it alone man they really should have just left left these two at their own separate like game universes it's like i'm glad that they come together and like combine to make you know Warzone one thing with each other but that doesn't mean they had to combine their campaigns you know what i'm saying like that part just doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever i'm not counting fire explosions all right they have to hit me all right they have to at least slap my cheeks all right that, that's all they have to do all right they're, they're not i'm not counting fire explosions oh god ted you scared them shit out of me I was, I was like, for some reason i thought it was a zombie there i was like oh my god you scared the crap out of me there jesus oh lordy but anyways yeah so i was honestly excited to make my way to black ops 2 and do the one hit restart challenge on bo2 moon was definitely an experience that last video was absolutely crazy which has almost been a month since i did the one hit restart challenge but you got BO6 to thank for that. I, of course, was going to be... Uh, I did not know I was going to be this enthralled, though, by BO6. But, boy, howdy, am I. BO6 has been an amazing experience, I think, for zombies. I honestly... It was better than I was assuming it was going to be. So, I definitely... I like how he turned around. Like... <laughs> Alright, so we are right now on round five. I'm not going to farm. There's not really anything there that's worth getting on farm. So there's like no re there's no point besides the refrigerator. So unless you want the mystery box location, I, I personally don't really see the point in going over to farm. Here's something I never learned about years ago is that you could just throw the grenades like right down here and it'll go fall off the bus it is just the weirdest thing ever but you can't shoot through it like it has collision for your weapon bullets but it doesn't have collision for grenades yeah it's so weird it doesn't make any sense <laughs> but hey at least you get a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a, an increase there I feel like he keeps telling me to pick up a part but it it's, that's not the case. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this is Power Station, right? I hope so, anyways. Oh, God. Look at all those blue eyes. It comes to the bus now. That's fine. I just need to get out now. <laughs> Buy the AK-74U off the wall right here. That's the reason why I saved up my points, you know? The AK-74U, probably the most bought weapon on transit. Because this is the only weapon that is essentially decent. Especially if you don't get shit out of the mystery box, which I got kind of okay weapons out of the mystery box, but they weren't the the best weapons. Like they definitely were not the best weapons I could have asked for in the mystery box, unfortunately. But it's okay. Now I also gotta remember this is a two hit system, so and I got quick revive for no reason. I wasted 500 points for no fucking reason. <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> I bought Quick Revive for no reason. Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I buy Quick Revive? I, I'm just so used to buying it. Like, I, I see it and I go, oh, I gotta buy it. Oh, God. 
I just I just remembered I can't I can't build while I'm turned around, so I have to be right here at the table. All right, let's grab this. Is it only two parts or is it three? My endeavors will aid all it's three. Oh God! All right, is it over here? Nope. Hold on a minute. Oh, it was up here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Holy shit! Thou mayest bow down and Man, then the bus is leaving. Oh my god. Transit, you are. F oh god. I forgot how bad this map is. <laughs> Is it a fun playthrough, like going back and play through it again? Yes, it is. But is it a good map still? No, it is it is an awful experience. Oh, Jesus Christ. What type of creature could thrive in such an environment? Ah, <sighs> God. And the bus is probably definitely the bus is definitely gone by now. Yeah, like for sure. Oh my god. No, 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 no! Oh! All right, here we are for attempt number two. Investigate the inner workings of the lighting systems. Jesus Christ. At least I got to the power station. That's right, no, 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 they don't do that until Origins, I think. And even then, they started at Origins, and even then it's like 25 points, which, I mean, it was, it was pretty cool that they added in there, because I'm pretty sure that was a custom zombies thing. I believe, right? It was it was custom zombies that started it. And can I get anybody besides the fucking nerd? Like, oh god, I hate this dude so much, man. He's the worst character. Right there next to fucking Stoolinger. Misty and... I mean, Rustman is like I, my third hated. But Misty is the one I can tolerate. But I can't stand the other ones. I, I just... Oh god, they... Uh, eh. Considering Rust Man is the only one that has like any type of like story explanation, well, Stoolinger as well. Misty and Marlton are just like kind of there, you know. I like you to go, please. I like you to go, please. Yeah, and I like you to move, please. <laughs> I would like you to move, please. Ted. Ted, come on, man. Look, I was real excited to get your emblem in Black Ops 6, all right? And I have yet to get it. Oh, God. At least it's round one, I guess. So if the zombie gets in here, it won't be so bad. Oh, he got in here. <laughs> all that work for nothing. Good job, buddy. Uh, all right. So this time I didn't grab quick revive, so I have 500 extra points than I did the first time. Thank mother of God. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I I do miss like the old days of playing Black Ops 2 Zombies and like with the random people or friends and stuff, and just doing some dumb shit. Look at a jet gun part. Doing some dumb shit on transit and everything. Like it has such a nostalgic feeling. It definitely has a lot of nostalgia, but it is definitely not, has not aged very well with time at all. Like, I I really do hope that they do a remaster of Transit or a remake or something of the map, because I personally think that with today's, the way that the maps are made today, especially now, th th this map will be amazing. No fucking... Literally no denizens or anything of that annoying factor in the map. Like, oh god. That is the dream right there, dude. <clears throat> it would be an amazing thing to happen, but I don't know if they'll ever do it. <sighs> really? The barret? Oh my god. You could have given me anything else. <clears throat> could have given me anything else, but you gave me that. Alright, come on. All right, uh, we got the ladder, which I mean, I I guess the ladder works okay. Oh, that also works okay. 
like the atomic light. Alright, well, we got the ladder on the side of the bus, or the back side, whatever. But I was anticipating a thing. Oh yeah, and there's a possible part at farm, but I don't know. I, I just don't think that farm is really worth going to. Unless you want the free... Really? You could have given me anything. You could have given me anything. And you gave me the fucking SMR. One of the worst guns in zombies history. Like, I... Oh, God. And it's so funny because I never understood it. That they make some weapons so bad in zombies. But in multiplayer, they're just fucking badass weapons. Like, the SMR multiplayer... Great weapon. Like, honestly, I could use the SMR multiplayer. Zombies? Oh, God. You see it in zombies, and you might as well, like, throw your controller out the window or something. You might as well quit playing. You know, <laughs> it's like, makes me want to quit playing half the time. Every time I get an SMR, it's like, oh, might as well just hit me and end the game now, you know? But there's not a lot of good weapons in the mystery box. Looks like I'm using snipers today. The first, the first match, it was pistols, and this one, it's fucking sniper rifles. Sweet Jesus. You gotta get my quickscoping skills back from back in the day out again. It is so different now how, like, the scopes and stuff are, since they go for more realistic feel. How, like, the black screen right here, which, you know, is just the original look and everything, just looks so awesome. So it's like, you know, can't really quickscope anymore like you used to. Like, it's... The original quick scoping skills, you know, that everybody used to have is, is like definitely compared to now is just not as good. Definitely not as good. Really? Not exactly a subtle weapon. Oh! Well, you mean I got another gun here, but it's long range, but you know it's not really ideal. Okay, final attempt for transit. Let's see if we can get... I get fucking Russman. Speak of the devil, Russman. Lord howdy. Anyways, so... Darlington. So anyways, so I'm hoping, What I wonder what a lot of people's first impressions are of zombies, if they have any, like, different impressions. Like, for, because for, like, BO6 and everything, um, again, I'm, I'm liking BO6 a lot more than I thought I would, and I'm still, I'm still gotta do a video on BO6, it's, up, it's still updating on my PC, which right now it's not, it paused so I can play the game. But, um, I definitely... Once it finishes updating, and I'll be definitely making, like, more videos and such on BO6. And, um... Yeah, I, I think BO6 honestly isn't too bad this year. There's a, there's a lot of people, of course, that is comparing it to Cold War, disliking it because... Because they don't like the Cold War system, which I definitely understand. Like, I, I'm not a big fan of the Cold War system either, but I do think that they kind of made it a little better than how it was in Cold War. Like, I have uh, the Augments, which are probably one of the better ideas that they've done in a while. So that way, you know, we're still having fun with the game, but we're not extremely overpowered like we were before. And because the easiness of Cold War like really shown and I'm glad that they did do a difficulty like a bit more of a difficulty spike for Black Ops 6 which a lot of people hate that as well but for me I think that it works well with the BO6 system and the Cold War system in itself just because you know it makes it to where I'm I'm having fun but also, you know, I'm busy with, you know, I'm grinding for camos and stuff like that. And just having fun with them. I've played like 100 games, I think, of BO6 Zombies. And 
45 is the uh, f uh, highest round I've gotten to for Terminus. And 31, I think, for Liberty Falls. I've never really attempted to go higher than that. I could. But the just that's my one gripe about it is just the amount of boss spawns they have in because of the, what, 250 zombie limit cap, which is insane in itself to think about. But I think that it it would benefit a little bit from having not so many bot that's where that zombie came from last time good job ted but yeah i think that it would benefit from having serious <laughs> oh my god i i don't know if I don't, i'm pretty sure y'all heard that he has to go poop just fucking christ sakes you could tell like Bunch of twelve-year-olds played Black Ops Two more than adults did. Jesus Christ. Anyways, from what I was saying, um, I definitely think that Bo Six will go down as a very, very top Call of Duty game. And the zombies seem fun because Cold War. You know, I got Dark Ether camo for Cold War, and it took forever. Like it took absolute ages to get the dark ether camo for cold war and for this one i both like for black ops 6 i've gotten uh shotguns uh well i just need to use the shotguns essentially get special eliminations with it this is gonna fuck an emp grenade are you uh, shitting me right whatever. now yeah i know whatever yeah i'm feeling the same way right now rustman jesus anyways as i was saying the um the fact that the game itself is not as grindy as Cold War is, like, they kind of made it more fun. It hasn't even been that long! Oh, fucking Christ's sakes, dude. I, uh, I don't know if I want to get on. What? No! It's still moving. It's at 123 years. <laughs> I threw the EMP grenade at the bus. It said 123 years. Holy fucking hell. That's a long ass time. <laughs> no! I thought he died! What is wrong with me? <laughs> oh, God. I thought he died. I don't even want to talk about it. I thought he died. I, I don't know why I did that. I I I swear to Christ, I thought he I thought he died. Well, transit is off the list of being maps that I can or have completed. I don't want to talk about it, man. I don't want to talk about. It. I'm I'm so sad. I'm so upset. It's not even funny. Well. We didn't go to any of these other maps because I was trying to get to town at least before getting hit. The farthest I got was a power station. But the next map we are going to go to is Nuketown 2025. So that will be in the next episode, which is going to be a definite fun map to play. And then Die Rise after that. And after Die Rise, Mob of the Dead. Oh, can't wait for Mob of the Dead. Then we got Buried and then we got Origins. Whoop, whoop. So pretty decent black ops 2 zombie lineup here so and then after that we're on to black ops 3 black ops 4 black ops cold war and then black ops 6 so i'm really really excited thank you so much guys for watching hope you enjoyed please make sure to leave a like comment subscribe for more make sure you use codes the culture for 10 percent off w.com for your purchase and i will see you guys on the next video goodbye